That's X Davis. Hey, praise the Lord, kids, and welcome to my clubhouse. Let me tell you a true story. A long, long time ago, God created everything. He made the universe, the earth, the sky, the oceans, the animals, the birds in the air, and the fish of the sea. And after he was finished, he looked at everything and said it was good. Then, God made his best, most precious, excellent, and unique creation ever. People. And you can also call them mankind or human beings. Then the Bible says that God made the male human from the dirt of the ground, then breathed his own spirit into the man, and he became a living soul. God called the man's name Adam. Then God saw that it wasn't good for Adam to be alone, so he used one of Adam's ribs and made a female or woman to be his wife, his friend, and to help him. Then Adam gave the woman a name and called her Eve. Now, after God created people, then he said that everything was very good. The word of God says in the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 27, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. God created people with only two genders, so they can multiply and be successful leaders on the earth. The male, or man, or boy, and the female, or woman, or girl. That means that you were specially and perfectly custom made by God himself, and you were made in God's image, in his likeness. Now being made in his image doesn't mean that you're a God just like God is, but it means that you're different than any other of God's creations. You're special, you're unique, you are God's reflection in the earth. You have feelings, talents, you can create all sorts of great things, you're smart, and you can do things that none other of his creations can do. Now just like God is real and is good, there's also a real enemy of God that does bad things. And his name is Satan, and you can also call him the devil. Now Satan wants to do everything bad against God and against people. Satan uses people to do bad things. Some people let Satan use them to confuse other people and tell them that God made a mistake and put them in the wrong body. He makes them believe that God put a girl in a boy's body and that he put a boy in a girl's body. Now that is wrong. The word of God doesn't say that. God is perfect and he does everything perfect and good. God does not make mistakes and he didn't make a mistake when he made you. God made all of our skin, hair, eyes, and personalities different and unique. So when he made you, he made you exactly the way that he wanted you to be. You may feel and think that you want to be the opposite gender, but that doesn't mean that God made a mistake. And that also doesn't mean that God wants you to change your own gender, because you can't change your own gender. Don't let anyone change your identity of who God made you to be. You're made in God's image, and he made you perfect the way you are. Jesus loves you, and he wants the best for you. He doesn't want you to be confused. If God wanted you to be the opposite gender, he would have made you that from the beginning. You know what I'm talking about? So if you feel and think that you were born in the wrong body, God still loves you. Don't be angry, sad, and confused. God loves you so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to die for your sins so you can be in a close relationship with him forever. He has an awesome future and a plan for your life. Talk to God and ask him to show you who you are because he's the one who made you and he knows everything about you. So take a few minutes to read the Bible, which is the word of God, and pray and ask God to help you understand who he made you to be. God knows you better than you know you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember, God made you in his image and Jesus loves you just the way you are. I'll check y'all out later. Ooh, that's X Davis! A special thanks goes out to all the sponsors who made this video possible. Thank you for your help and your support. God bless you.